Inventory items represent materials or parts you buy, track as inventory, and then resell. Through inventory parts, you can keep track of how many items remain in stock after a sale, how many items you have on order, your cost of goods sold, and the value of your inventory. To create a new inventory item, go to Customers from the main menu at the top, and then select Invoice Item List. Right-click within the item list and select New Item. From the Item Type drop-down, select Inventory Part. Give your inventory part a name or a number. Assign a purchase description, a sales description, an estimated cost, a retail price, or use your markup method if you would like to select one. Assign a preferred vendor that you purchased this inventory part from, a manufacturer warranty, the bin of where this item is located within a specific warehouse, or whether or not MSDS is required. From the inventory tab, you can enter in the inventory quantity that you currently have on stock for this inventory part. If you don't want to do this now, you can wait and enter in an inventory adjustment later, or you can simply create an inventory part to have when you're ready to actually purchase inventory for this particular item. Within the Accounting tab, select the income account that should be affected when this inventory part is sold. Select the COGS or expense account that should be affected when this inventory part is sold. And finally, select the inventory asset account to track the inventory value and quantity for this particular inventory part. You can also use the quantity checking feature to alert you when the quantity on hand for this item is under or over a certain quantity. You can also enter in a message that will appear when this particular situation arises. For more information about inventory, inventory costing methods, and how inventory is used in Total Office Manager, click F1 to read the help topic on inventory. Please note that Total Office Manager's inventory costing method is average cost. Total Office Manager does not handle LIFO or FIFO costing methods for inventory.